My name is Jody Stager, and I'm an encaustic artist in Sun Valley, Idaho. Encaustic art is an ancient medium, starting back with the Greek shipbuilders using it to patch holes in their ships. It eventually became an art form. Encaustic means to burn in. It is a beeswax-based paint that I heat up to 200 degrees and use a torch to fuse together each layer to adhere it to the previous layer. And so it's a process of building layers on a birch panel. I was drawn to encaustic initially because of the organic nature and the finished product of the piece. I worked with oil prior and caustic just gives me so many different opportunities to create different pieces from photo encaustics to painting on skulls to many different styles of abstracts. It allows me to use anything from shellac to rocks to photos to oil paints. I can, I can create and use just a various and um, so many different things I can do with it. So to start each piece, I have a raw birch panel and I paint on four base coats of clear medium, uh, followed by four coats of white to kind of get that fondant cake-like look. And from there, um, I start adding color and texture and whether I'm using shellac or other products within the layers, but I build, I build from that and I create anything from encaustic on skulls to photo encaustics or layering photos within a piece, do many different styles of abstracts. I am about 80% a commission artist. Um, which I definitely prefer because, uh, yeah, I'm usually booked about nine months out and I'm working with people that I get to know that I go to their homes, we measure, we talk about color palette style, and then I kind of go from there. But I love the whole process because it's kind of funny. A lot of them turn into friends that I hang out with and a lot of them have become multiple collectors of my pieces. And so it's just overall a fun process to be a commission artist because I just love getting to know people. So this piece is an example of a photo encaustic. I took a, this photo in the Sawtooth last year of Alice Lake. I blew it. I had it blown up and... I adhered it directly to the birch panel. And then I paint over every little detail in the photo and um, using really transparent paints in spots and then adding texture in spots. So this is just an example of a photo encaustic. So one thing with encaustic is you don't have to put glass or lacquer or anything over the finished product. It is all natural and just buffs to a really, really high sheen, which is beautiful. So the buffing technique is I, I just use a really cheap Target white t-shirt and buff with the grain of the wax. So as encaustic is curing, it creates what's called a bloom. And the bloom is all the natural elements of the wax rising to the surface and leaves kind of a foggy haze. And um, it does that for about six months in the curing process. And anytime it bothers a client, I just help them. I go buff for them or I tell them how to buff. And it just brings back the natural high gloss of the piece.